Well, that is his day job, Mitch Marner, winger for the Toronto Maple Leafs. You know him. You're familiar. Uh, his night job this Thursday will be for a great cause. It's a virtual holiday fundraiser, One Team United, presented by Intact Insurance in support of the Marner Assist Fund. Uh, again, you can jump on. It's for a great cause. Mitch Marner joining us here on Tim and said, the great news is Mitch is like the star of the show Thursday. The bad news is Tim and I will host it. So I, I don't know where that decision exactly came from. How many other hosts did you want to ask before asking us, Mitch? You can be honest with us. You can level uh, us. Zero. We, we had the one, and uh, that's all we needed. It got done with the one. Uh, uh, we'll ta we'll take it. You're good. Yeah. We'll take it. Are you excited to go on with us, or are you scared bleepless to go on with us? Uh, I'd say both. I'm, I'm excited, <laughs> um, but at the same time, I'm nervous. I mean, uh, this is one of my bigger scripts that I've had, I think, in my uh, – acting days so it's i'm excited for it uh, should be a lot of fun that night um hopefully raise a lot of money and hopefully do a lot of great things i think we will i think we'll have a great time uh but i mean talking about i have this is double-sided too that's yeah. what I, what so I, who's who's gonna play the role of john tavares on this line mitch like who like where do we go from here that's a great question i think that's gonna have to be a rock for series between you guys and see okay. who Fair enough. Um, I'll, I'll go in the corners. I'll go in the corners and help out the two of you. How about that? All right. So, so Mitch, let's um, we'll get to the hockey stuff in a second. I know there's a lot of a lot of Leaf fans here watching and listening, but the the idea for the fundraiser, the virtual fundraiser Thursday night. You know, it's it's the holidays. It's a special time. It's a weird time for everybody. How long has this been in the works? Kind of what was the genesis of it, and what what can we expect? Ah, uh, yeah, it's been in the works for a while. Just trying to figure out how we can do something this year. Um, without being really able to get our charity event in, and I guess public or with people. So we're trying to think of ways to do it. Um, we came up to one team united because um, hopefully it just brings everyone together. We can bring everyone together through this call. Um, like I said, raise a lot of money. It's all for um, Second Harvest, who we've already done stuff with, and we love doing stuff for and with um, to try and get meals out there for the holidays. Um, I know how important it is to, to – I guess, eat and at the same time sharing that uh, meal with your family throughout the holidays is very important to me. And uh, I'm trying to give out and trying to help out as many families as we can. And as people know, hunger has been a major issue during COVID-19. So Second Harvest, which is one of the great uh, food rescue organizations out there, is a partner for the Marner Assist Fund in this uh, in this aspect. So, so let me ask you this, because I know that family is a big part of this. Uh, has has thinking about others and working with charity been something that you grew up with? Why is why is something like this so important to you and extension of the family? Um, I'd say growing up, we always just really wanted to give back. Um, I think we tried to do as much as we could. We didn't, I'd say, really had an opportunity to give up, to give back that much. Um, now with where I stand and being in Toronto, the media, the um, the spotlight you get, I thought I can really make something of it. I think I really came to my mind that I wanted to start something up in London, uh, doing sick kids every week or so, going there and seeing um, the same kids, the same faces. And it started really hitting and impacting me more and more that uh, we're making a difference on these kids' life and, and bringing cheer to them. And, um, you know, I've had a lot of great help from my great friend, Natasha, who's that it factor. And um, she's done a lot of great things and introduced me to a lot of great people that we just keep this charity going. And um, it feels like every year we're bringing in a new great sponsorship and a new great team that uh, has a lot of help. And um, this year, like I said, it's it's been a lot of fun working with Second Harvest and they've done a lot of great things and I'm happy to be part of it. Mitch Marner here on Tim and Sid. And as a, just along those lines, Mitch, I think it's important as a GTA kid to be helping out in your area, like never mind you, the fact that you work here and you and you earn paychecks here, but this this whole area means a lot to you as well. How, how special is that for you? Uh, very, yeah. I mean, I grew up in this area, like you just said. It's uh, I've been here really for all 23 of my years, and um, it's uh, it's a special place. It means a lot to me. It's where I kind of grew into the person I am. It's where I grew into the hockey player I am. So um, without it, I don't know where I'd be. Uh, it's it's been very important to me. It's uh, like I said, I'm just very happy and very grateful that I get to give back now and, and have the, the chance to do that. And it's, it's been a lot of fun these past couple of years, and I'm, I'm just looking forward to keep it going for multiple and hopefully until the end of time. So, so for those who don't, uh, who don't know, it's Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, if you're, if you're watching from across the country. Um, and people can go to marnerassistfund.com slash stream 
just go to marnerassistfund.com and, and you're covered. So are we allowed to unleash the guest list? Like, are we teasing it? Are we allowed to say, like, I know maybe Natasha is there and saying yeah. yes or no. Are we allowed to unveil she, any of this? She, gave, she is giving me the thumbs up in the background. So we oh, are allowed. Oh, dog. Here we go. All right. We start right. talking there, man. Start talking. Who, who, are we right. so, who are we looking at? So do you want to do the honors? Do you want us to do the honors? How well, do you want to do, do it? Uh, just, uh, I'll I'll do, do, how about you two, you two do the first two of the, the people, and then I'll do the, the back three. I'm a few of the same list as me, or I'll do I'll do three, and then you two will know who right, I'm. We'll in. fill in the blanks. Yeah. All right. So, um, Teamwork already. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, Look at this. <laughs> All right, Mitch, go ahead. Who we got first? Um, okay, so um, someone that I've actually been pretty close with for a couple of years now. Um, she's a female hockey player. I think she's she's great. Um, she's a great hockey player as well. Uh, Laura Stacy is one of the one of the guests, um, and then another great guy that uh, I've been fortunate enough to play with that is now in New York. Um, he's got his own charity. He's meant a lot to me growing up, uh, Matt Martin. Nice. And then um, another great buddy of mine that is actually um, living with me at the time being. Um, and he's a great guy. He's a lot of fun on on these kind of calls. Justin Hall, who brings a lot of enjoyment. So Justin Hall was available to join, you're saying? You knew, you knew where he was going to be. He was available to jump on. His schedule opened up. It was good. I told him that he is on the call. I don't care what he's doing. He's, uh, he's, he's our guy. All right. For those who don't know, like he's underrated funny, right? Like people don't yeah. know this yet. No, uh, I, th I think if you watch enough of him on like any of his leaf to leaves or when he was running the Instagram live stuff, like he, he just kind of just gets into the spirit and he, I don't know, he's, he's hilarious to me. I, I think a lot of uh, teammates find him very funny and um, he should be actually very funny to talk to during this. We can, we can joke around with him. I think he'll, he'll have some fun with that. Sydney, you want to fill it out? Or do you want me to do it? Considering I don't have the list in front of me, Tim, I think it would be a good idea if you did. Okay, I just want to make sure that I got the okay. same list. Yes. So, yes. so Mitch, is one of them a Hockey Hall of Famer who used to wear a C in Toronto that might be Sid Sixero's favorite player growing up? It is. That's Dougie? one Dougie Gilmore. Dougie's coming on? Let's yep. go. Let's and, go. What's your and, favorite and, Doug Gilmore moment growing up, Mitch? That's gotta be like, the it's got to be the wraparound. Right. St. Louis. Yeah, all time favor. That one, I've watched that one very, I'd say multiple times throughout my life. It's, uh, it's that's that's my highlight clip of him right there. Can't argue right. with that. Sixero over his shoulder has uh, a name tag from the Family Feud. Might we have the host of the Family Feud Canada also joining us, our friend Jerry D? That is true. Yes. Uh, another great guy that I'm very excited to talk about. I've seen him a couple times around the rink. Um, I mean, you said it there, comedian, so I'm sure he's going to bring a lot of joy and some good content to uh, to the call as well. And he used to train kids in the GTA in hockey. Which yeah. is an amazing, I don't know if you know that. He had, like, Stamkos. Yeah, I could play a little bit. Subban. He had, yeah. I did not know that. That is great. <laughs> There's now, a but. whole, like, one day they're going to make a, th a documentary about Jerry Day. <laughs> Yeah. And, it's gonna be, and like ice, stand up is going to be like a quarter of it. It's going to be his, he's he's the world's he's Canada's most interesting man. That is good. I did not know that. That's good to know now. All so right. would you, would you like us to shame anyone else into coming on Thursday? Who's kind of who hasn't given you a hard yes or no yet? Like anyone we need to call out publicly here for the sake of charity? This is this is the uh, Marner Assist Fund here. This is this is all going to a great cause. Anyone you want to call out? I think we're good. I think that's a that's an all star lineup we got right there. So I think we're I think we're happy with it. We got all can, the pins marked in. Can I uh, like I heard a rumor about a, a certain Pittsburgh Steeler. Is that true? In can, there, can, there, there is uh there is rumors about that. Are we? Am I allowed to say that name? Oh, that's, a big, that's a big I'm get. Getting, I know it's I a get. question mark. Am I allowed to say like throw a teaser out or no? I think Tim just did. I feel like you're dead. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, right. it's out there. Yeah, no. Um, we got. Um, this sounds. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, Chase Claypool on the Steelers. Um, oh, that having is. Having a unbelievable year in his first year in with Pittsburgh. Um, actually, I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to spill the beans on here. I want to wait for the Thursday night. But I got some pretty funny things to talk about. I uh, will face and fantasy football wise. So nice. I'm oh, I get what's going to happen. You have Tim and I on to handle some of this stuff early and you're just going to get like super comfortable and just, just <laughs> big foot us both and take over. It is your event. You could do whatever you want, Mitch, but is that basically what's going to happen? I, I, it's happened to me before. I'm not new I to think, this. I don't think that'll happen, but it could happen. I think I'm more so just going to keep throwing jokes out there. And, and I think you guys have to keep reel me back in for the, 
for the seriousness. I, have I don't really know if you can do that. No, I think, Tim, you got to reel, reel both of us in. You're going to need to. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you could have played a sport outside of hockey, what would it have been? Oh, uh, wow. I, I always, I'd say my three sports kind of growing up were always hockey, lacrosse, and soccer. And just, I don't know, those are the three I always just grew up playing. Uh, I think lacrosse was probably my second best sport I played. So I, I'd probably say lacrosse. I never really ever got a chance to play football, although I don't think I would be great in many positions. I think maybe as like a, I don't know, cornerback or something, maybe like trying to read off if I had defense or something. But I think other than that, I don't think I would do well in football or baseball or anything. Um, you, uh, well, I think you saw yourself a little short there. Uh, yeah. One more time on this 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for the Eastern, Tim. We're going, we are national. 8 p.m. Eastern, the virtual holiday fundraiser, uh, fundraiser One Team United, presented by Intact Insurance in support of the Marner Assist Foundation. To get on there Thursday night with Tim, myself, and Mitch, marnerassistfund.com slash stream. marnerassistfund.com slash stream. It is a special time of year. It's going to a great cause. I encourage everyone to help out there. All right, Mitch, permission to ask hockey stuff. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, I don't want to get you in trouble because you've been very kind to us. But generally, are you optimistic you will be playing National Hockey League hockey next month? Uh, I hope so. I mean, um, I've, I've seen all the news. I've, seen, I've heard everything. Um, I'm hoping that we can get something going here. I think uh, I'm very excited about the guys we brought in. And uh, I think we... You know, we added some very key pieces that uh, could help us a lot. Let's talk about some of those key pieces because uh, they added some some veteran toughness um, and and guys that you kind of sort of know from being around the league for a while. You get Wayne Simmons, another local Toronto boy, and Joe Thornton uh, just announced that H.C. Davos said he's heading home. So when when you hear about Thornton, do you call Uncle Patty Marlowe and <laughs> ask for the lowdown on Joe Thornton, or do you, have you known enough along the way? Uh, I mean, I think throughout Patty's time here, he's talked to me and, and Austin, uh, I would say a good amount about uh, Jumbo, uh, just says he's super light, likes to, you know, keeps everything light, has a great time, but on the ace, he's a competitive guy. I mean, he plays hard and um, he wants to win. So uh, I'm excited. I mean, everything I've seen about him, he seems like just an unbelievable dude. And Patty's always relayed that back to us. So I'm excited to get uh, talking to him and, um, as soon as he signed, I mean, I sent him a big text, just super excited to have him. And um, I think he's going to do a lot. Mitch Barner here on Tim and Sid. Um, I, I, I think the theme is hunger uh, for this offseason with you guys, Mitch. I'm mean, just all the guys you've kind of brought in. I mean, Joe Thornton, based on all the reports, he wanted to be a team of the years last season. You know, I mean, you got Wayne Simmons. He's been through some tough spots here the last couple of uh, destinations. He wants to find his, his love for the game again. You got, I mean, Bogosian's coming in. TJ Brody. TJ Brody a couple seasons ago was amazing. He had a tough, tough year last year. Had the health concerns. He's looking to kind of reinvigorate things. Do you, do you find just bringing in hungry guys like this, considering how hungry you guys are, because no one was happy with that Columbus series, does that change the dynamic of your group much, do you think? Um, well, I think the, the, the key pieces that we added on Ford ND, like the, all the guys you just said, they are very hungry. I mean, they're here to prove themselves. Um, I mean, I think you saw last year, Bogosian had an unbelievable playoffs for Tampa. Um, was a really big key piece. I, I think when he got signed there, he helped him out a lot on the back end with some, um, you know, I think some meanness and uh, a guy that uh, can also make plays. Um, TJ, I mean, I just know him from the league. I got to obviously play against him twice a year when he was in Calgary. Um, but I remember he just played with uh, Giordano and he, he was kind of just at the safety back. He would make plays. He was smart with the puck. Um, and then, you know, Wayne, obviously, I, I got to play with him at Worlds. Um, he was a great dude. I enjoyed him a lot and just talked to him when he signed as well. Just he was super excited to be here. I mean, he I think he had that desire of being wanting to be here last year or so as well. And, um, you know, I think he's hungry and he wants to prove everyone that, uh, you know, he's still the player that he is. And uh, I've been seeing him on the ice recently. And, I mean, he's looking like a beast out there. He's he's uh, he's. I've been watching him on the half wall down low when he's got that puck and it's hard to get it off him. He's a big, he's a big man and he can control that puck and around that net. He's he doesn't miss very often. It's uh, pretty impressive to watch. So I'm, I'm excited. Like I said, they're, they're all hungry. They want to win. And, uh, you know, I think that's what we need on our team. We need those guys to make sure we keep us in line and, and keep us going every single day. All right. Last one from me for Mitch Martyr, who's joining us here on Tim and Sid. Um, 
we're all still kind to digest what happened with the bubble and what's happening in life in 2020. But I got to ask, like, what was the best and worst part of being in the bubble? I think the best was just every day you're with your teammates. Um, you know, you're you're in really the same hotel as everyone, but at the same time, you're just on the same floor as your teammates. You get to hang out with them. Um, I mean, I, no one had their wives, kids, girlfriends, dogs, or anything like that. So it was just pretty much any time you got to hang out with their, your buddies and just kind of go over stuff and talk about what happened. And I think the worst uh, was, I mean, you're in a hotel with – every team you're competing against. It's, it's weird. You're, you're getting in an elevator. I mean, I think I remember the one day I got in an elevator elevator kind of opens up and Tortorella's in there. I was just like, Oh, just like, what'd you, went what'd you say to him? What'd uh, you say to him? pardon? what did you say to him? I didn't say anything. Actually, it was, it was someone else. In the, there's three of us in the elevator. Uh, someone else on my team. It was kind of just funny. We just walked in there. Uh, I had my headphones on it. I think it was kind of before we started playing them, but it was just kind of funny. It's just like, Oh, this is kind of just how you got to, deal with this now it's kind of just got to become ordinary i guess so it was, it was a little weird in that aspect but um i think that was probably the weirdest thing for me was just seeing multiple other guys constantly in the hotel that were playing on different teams hey torts <laughs> big big gulps eh let's chit chat with torts <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh last one mitch because i mean when when this gets going, I mean, we're all reading the same reports from Fridge and everybody. It looks like this Canadian division is going to be a thing. Instead of two matchups against Matthew Kachuk, you get nine. Instead of two matchups against Zach Cassian, you get nine. You get more Brady Kachuk. You get like what what matchup are you most looking forward to that you don't normally get at that level? I was going to ask you what's what's the most anticipated Canadian matchup. I think by law, you as a Leaf have to say Habs. But in terms of the Western Canadian teams, like who? Who are you looking forward to playing a lot more? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, uh, I think all of them, really. I mean, they're all very, very skilled teams. They all got a lot of great players. And at the same time, I feel like they got a lot of young, great players as well in their their division. I mean, you look at Vancouver, I think um, that team, what they did last year is pretty impressive in the playoffs. Um, they got a lot of great players that can do a lot of great things. So I think Vancouver is kind of a team that uh, I'm kind of excited to play against more, just uh, seeing more of Pedersen, Hughes, um, Besser, just kind of seeing all the younger guys just more in detail and, you know, kind of being ready for that competitiveness. And I think uh, that team kind of equals kind of like us. So it's going to be interesting to play against them more. One Team United is what it's called uh, in support of the Marner Assist Fund. It is Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. The stream available at marnerassistfund.com slash stream. Uh, Tim McAuliffe, Sid Sixero, and the star of the show, Mitch Marner, will be there. Is there a dress code, Mitch, before we say goodbye? Do I, like, am I okay? <laughs> like, what, what do you expect from us? You're producing this thing. What do you expect? Yeah. Am I, well, that's a great question. I haven't even asked what my dress code should be, so I don't know. I think uh, I'm sure Natasha's going to call us all on Wednesday. All right. I think you're right. Yeah, she's very thorough. Natasha's yeah, very we're good. Thorough. As long as it's not black tie, phone, we're good. Keep your phones yeah. online. <laughs> all right, we'll give Natasha our best behind the scenes there, Mitch. We we can't wait for Thursday. This is going to be a blast, and we're, we'll raise as much money as we can. We'll do our best. It's a terrific cause, and uh, can't wait. So we appreciate you jumping on today, and all the best to you. Take care. Yeah, bro. thank you guys for having me. I'm excited.